Hello, this is Justin bringing you to Daily Glitch for December 8th, 2014. Nintendo surprised the Game Awards this past Friday with a closing preview for The Legend of Zelda on Wii U. We saw a rough idea of the scale of the new world with the return of familiar items for traversal like the sailcloth and Link's horse, Epona. Epona showed a new AI that automatically dodges obstacles in the world which will give a hands-free approach to traveling in one direction. This will allow players to freely rotate the camera, use items like the bow, without the worry about going off course or coming to a sudden stop. Legend Zelda for Wii U is targeted for a 2015 release with a quick mention of Star Fox Wii U, releasing before the new Zelda title, and Majora's Mask for 3DS, releasing before Star Fox Wii U. Following our December 5th report of the trailer leak, Street Fighter V officially debuted during the PlayStation experience. As Sony's assisting with the development, Street Fighter V will only appear on PS4 and Windows PC. Capcom and Sony also announced there will be cross-platform support, which will allow everyone to compete against each other no matter if you pick it up on the PC or PS4. During the PlayStation experience, Double Fine Productions' Ten Schaefer announced Broken Age will arrive on the PS4 and Vita early next year. Also, a gameplay trailer was shown for Grim Fandango Remastered, along with a release date mention of January 27th for the PS4, Vita, PC, Mac, and Linux. Following was a surprise announcement for a remastered version of Day of the Tentacle. Thanks to a deal with Disney Lucasfilms, Day of the Tentacle Special Edition will launch simultaneously on PS4, Vita, PC, Mac, and Linux. The Witcher 3 is delayed again, announced today from developer CD Projekt. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt will see a 12-week delay. A letter from developers released on TheWitcher.com explains, Winner released the most important game in our studio's history. We must be absolutely sure that we did everything we could to limit any bugs to a level that will allow you to enjoy the game thoroughly. Last announced for release in February 2015, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is now set for May 19th, 2015. That's the big news from the weekend today that made the cut. Make sure to subscribe for your weekday gaming news. If you want to stay up to date, follow our Twitter at GlitchFeed. And make sure you listen to our Friday weekly podcast on iTunes for all news on all things gaming.